Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe from AVG Technologies. This is an AVG Academy video. Today we're going to look at AVG PC tune-up and some of the other features, more advanced features, that the product has to offer. So when you start AVG PC tune-up, you're presented with the dashboard. Now we've already looked at the dashboard and the optimize options in other videos. So today we're going to look at cleanup. So if we look at the cleanup tab, you can see here we've got a number of different options. Firstly, let's look at the cleanup windows and programs. As you can see, this is a rather large number, a lot of megabytes here. So let's open up and see what's actually taking up that space on this machine. So firstly, we can see there's a lot of temporary files, nearly 450 megabytes of those. Um, the other thing that's using a lot of, lot of uh, space on my machine here is the old restore points. Now, if they're old, you know, maybe we don't need them. So that's certainly something we should uh, go through and review. For the purposes of the video, I'm just going to take the recommendation and I'm going to delete the temporary files as, uh, as the recommendation says and remove that 435 megabytes. So to do that, I press the clean button. As you can see, it's deleted those files for me and saved that space. If we look at the next one, clean up my browser, it's saying I've got 176 megabytes I can clean from my browser. And that's made up of the cache, it's made up of different elements of cookies, index files, etc. The one here that I think is important that isn't checked is the installer. So if I check this one, you'll see what this is, is actually a backup of the Chrome installer. Well, I don't need that to be on my machine. So again, I'm going to press the clean button and remove those elements. And there we are. It's now actually saying, um, I must restart Windows. Uh, but I'm not going to restart it now. I'm going to restart it once I've finished doing all the, all the cleaning I need to do. The next one, broken shortcuts. Fortunately, this machine has no broken shortcuts on it. Uh, but I, I can also disable some Windows functions here to save myself some space as well. So if we look, I've got a hibernation file. You know when you just shut the laptop down and it, you know, next time you open it up, it restores to where you left off? That's hibernation. Uh, I like hibernation, so I'm going to leave that one. Um, the Windows search index, well, I use the search index an awful lot. So when I'm searching for things in, in uh, Outlook or searching for things on the disk, that's something I use frequently. So again, I'm not going to actually make any changes here. But at least now I know where that space is actually being used up. Some of the other features in cleanup here are find and remove duplicate files. Always useful because you know, we're all guilty of that. We copy something onto the machine, we move it to somewhere else, and suddenly we've got two copies of the same thing. Um, I'm going to scan for the duplicates. As you can see, we could save 826 megabytes of duplicated files. This is split across pictures, videos, archives, and other on this particular machine. Uh, on yours, it may, may show different categories, for example, documents, etc. So if we take a quick look at pictures, you can see that, for example, these pictures I have three copies of. Uh, some of them even have four of. And uh, what we can do is we can select to remove these. So if I click in here uh, and I click to delete these images, uh, it all automatically says you're removing all of them. Do you want to keep the original? So I'm going to say yes, keep the original. I'll remove the selected, which will remove two of the images. Uh, so that's removed from the duplicate finder, and I've saved that space. We can do the same for video. Uh, we can select again. If I select both, it's going to ask me to keep the original. So it's just giving me that warning of keeping the, the documents I actually need, uh, and it will remove the duplicate. Go through each of these here. Yeah, remove all the duplicates. Um, remember, it will uh, prompt you to save the originals and uh, save space on your machine. I can close down AVG Duplicate Finder. Uh, the other thing I can do in here in Cleanup is look for things that are taking up large amounts of space. Now to do this, I need to come in and I actually need to scan my disk so that it can look and find those big files to start with. So once it's finished explore, uh, exploring the disk to find out what I've got on it, you can see it tells me that Windows is taking up uh, 20 gigabytes of space. I've got program files of 2.6 gigabytes, etc. Here I can actually go through, I can look at the contents of the machine, where the files are, I can look by file type. Um, now on a machine where you've got lots of pictures or videos and things like that, obviously it's going to be telling you how much space 
certain types of content are taking up. That might prompt you to go back, go back through old pictures, delete the ones you don't want, or archive them off onto some sort of other storage mechanism. So what this allows you to do is take a good look at what's on your machine and make a decision about whether you need it to be on there. So the, the last option we're going to look at here in cleanup is securely delete data. So if you've got a file on your machine that you want to absolutely make sure that it's left your machine, i.e. nobody can restore it, undelete it, or get the file back, this is the option to use. So if I click on securely delete data, it asks me whether it's a file folder or whether it's the recycle bin. I'm going to look for a file. Uh, I'm going to add the file. Well, the file's actually right here on my desktop, and I'm going to open that file. And when I click on Next, it's going to ask me whether I want quick deletion or secure deletion. Well, I want secure deletion. A couple of different options here on levels of security. And I'm going to ask for repetitions of deletion. What that means is it's going to overwrite things on the disk, overwrite them again, and overwrite them again, depending on how many repetitions I ask for. And if I click Next, do you really want to delete the selected file? Well, yes, I do. And the deletion was successful. And I know that file can't be can't be got back through undelete or restore. So that completes looking at the cleanup tab. Let me just touch on the other couple of tabs here. Fix problems, um, fix common problems. So if you've got something with your machine, for example, the taskbar is not displaying or the menu bar is not displayed correctly in, in Windows, say something you used to have that's disappeared, you can come in here, uh, select the one it was, and what it will do is it will restore that for you it will bring it back to where it was before. Um, I can also check the hard disk for errors. Um, I'm going to start this, but then I'm going to cancel it because this takes a, a number of minutes to go through the disk. As you can see, it looks at the, the files on the disk and it gives you some status and it will come back with a report at the end. So as you can see on my machine, no errors were found. Now if you've got a machine that uh, you wanted to do a thorough inspection of, as you can see, that was one of the options when I went into uh, check hard disk for errors. One of the options I had here was a thorough analysis that takes a much longer time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes in some cases, even depending on the size of the disk. So make sure that you run this when you've got that time to do so. Um, the other thing I can look at is show system information. I can also look at the running processes on my machine. Um, those are things for more advanced users. Yeah, system information, if you want to know what's on your machine, for example, how much memory it's got in it, the processor type or the monitor that's attached to it, this is where you would go and get that information. Or even maybe the version of Windows and the service pack that's installed. The other one I'm just going to touch on here is personalize. Um, now, I don't tend to play with this myself too much. I tend to like Windows the way it came out of the box but you can change an awful lot in Windows about how it works with you and how you want to work with it. So for example, the animation effects between Windows, so when you shut one down, open a new one, how that looks, uh, all of these things are modifiable. Uh, and some of them can give you increased in performance because it's using less graphics to actually move from one application to another. Come in here, be very cautious about how you play with some of these. Uh, you can also reset the defaults here. Yeah, super important, so if you do do something that you're unsure of, you know, come back in and reset the default. Uh, but have a look through these, decide how you want Windows to look for you, and uh, set it in this nice and easy place to, uh, to configure Windows. So congratulations, you've taken a look at some of the advanced features of AVG PC TuneUp. This was an AVG Academy video, and we look forward to seeing you next time.